Recognizing a noticeable absence of natural hairstyles both industry-wide and within her own portfolio, Mary Ashanti Harris, a Philadelphia-based hair and makeup artist, is on a mission. She's embarked on a journey to diversify her portfolio and champion inclusivity within the bridal industry. Her goal? To inspire brides to confidently embrace their natural beauty on one of the most significant days of their lives. Your wedding photos are something that's in your house forever. In the other room, I have my parents' like wedding photos. Even though they're divorced, I still have it. And I think that's how profound a wedding photo is. I feel like when you create your wedding look, you're very much creating your Hollywood or your celebrity version of yourself. That's the day where you have a paparazzi, you have the camera on you all the time, you have an entourage, like it's very much so your moment to be at your best. And so I feel like by wearing your natural hair in such a, like a strong moment of your life, it sets the tone both for your subconscious of how you see yourself but it also sets the tone for your kids. Like, if your kids are looking at your wedding photos and they see that natural hair, subconsciously that's in, like instilling in them that like, wow, mom's at her best in her natural form. I felt like as a leader in the industry, it was kind of on me to start creating these looks to inspire my brides to kind of venture into those types of looks. So we're starting to definitely see more natural hair organically, through not just black media, but mainstream media, I still feel like it's very much still a moment. And it takes, even for myself, like it takes a lot of confidence to do it and feel like it's still like dressy, I almost want to say. I feel like because it's not normalized fully yet, that's why that's that like kind of disconnect of like the subconscious is it going to be received well? Am I going to look dressy enough? Though it is the biggest moment. And every time, you know, I personally or one of my brides do venture into natural hair, it's well received. I think media still tells us otherwise. My favorite type of call is when I have a bride because I talk to them on the phone first that says, you know, I'm thinking of wearing my natural hair. And so I take my job very seriously and I like to really dig deep into that and celebrate that so I just like when I get those moments I hype it up at the highest level and I try to steer them toward the natural style over a heat style. As an educator Mary Ashanti ensures her students are able to work with all hair textures a skill she had to learn on her own. When I was in cos school 15 years ago there was absolutely none there was one chapter that taught you how to straighten hair and it was the worst. I am proud to say L'Oreal, Purology, Mizani, they're forcing these things to happen in beauty schools, but this is something that's just started to happen within the last few years. So I think that we're going into a really good place. But again, the fact that it took this long just like literally blows my mind. I was blessed to be in multicultural styling because I am biracial. My family is of all tones and textures organically. That is literally the only reason why I knew how to work with all hair types. As far as when I went for getting my educator license, which was 2013, I was the one forcing that. Like in the curriculum, there was again that one chapter. I wanted my students to graduate knowing how to work with all tones and textures. I used to literally go on Facebook, recruit hundreds of models with curly hair, have them come in and teach the styling to my students. Mary Ashanti's journey is not just about makeup and hairstyles. It's a celebration of individuality and empowerment. It's a movement, one she hopes will have a lasting impact. When I am like old and wrinkly, like if I can look back and say, I was a part of desegregating the beauty industry, salons, the experience of luxury beauty, I would feel like I did my purpose. I want for anyone of all tones and all textures to be able to walk into any salon, any beauty experience, any beauty anything, and feel like a queen. I every single month get a call of like, hey, I'm a woman of color, can you work with me? And I'm like, yes, and this should not be what you're worrying about, you know, when booking your beauty appointment like that 
sucks. I'm so sorry my industry has failed you. So I just want every ounce of me just wants stylists to take it seriously and to make sure that even if you don't learn it in school, you're taking the extra mile to ensure that everyone feels completely equal and that people don't feel less than. I just want everyone to feel so like a human and less like a skin tone, a complexion, a texture. Like I want these conversations to be had so that our future doesn't have to have them in all spaces, honestly. To learn more about Mary Ashanti, you can follow her on social media at Made Up On The Go and visit her website, madeuponthego.com.